to on installing um or i'm sorry uh installing beta builds of windows with the time bombs um what you've got to do is you've got to uh stop the virtual machine from syncing to the host time which is a uh, two nine tw uh february 9th 2014 right now um this version of longhorn i'm trying to download um the date Let's see if I can bring it up. Um, it's called the Collection Book, is what I use. Um, Collectionbook.info. Link in the description. Um, BIOS date. Um, so see, and they they give you the BIOS date you need to do, um, which is uh nine twenty four two thousand two. So um, just to show you what happens if you don't um do what I'm about to show you. Uh, you I'm doing this in virtual PC 2007 service pack 1 because um, I don't have VMware I know you can do it in VMware and uh, you cannot do it in VirtualBox which is what I like to do so um, let's just try it right here um, we've got 0924 2002. All right, so let's exit save and changes. Wear out the delete key, which is how you get into the BIOS, and see it's already um, changed back to my host time, which will not allow um, Longhorn to run. Um, I'm I'm doing the very first uh, build of Longhorn uh, 3683. 3683. Um, Alright, so what you need to do, and I'll have this uh, code in the description or something like that. I'll figure it out. You'll you'll know. Um, well, Windows Explorer. Alright, now there will be, in your documents, there will be a um, virtual machine, my virtual machines folder. And here's all your virtual machines. So, Go to Longhorn. Oh shoot! All right, don't do that. Um, what you want to do is open with Notepad, and what you'll see here is an XML um, file, which with a bunch of stuff. Now you may you may understand it, you may not. Um, it doesn't matter. So what you're going to do is right right in between integration or Microsoft. I'm sorry. The Microsoft tags. There will be mouse, version, and video. Or more. I mean, it just depends on the machine. So, we are going to create a new tag. It will be components. Um, host time sync enabled type boolean uh, false. We want to make that false in tag, in tag, in tag. Don't want to leave that uh, space there. Um, a couple of things, because I I I tried to get this to work um, a couple times before I actually made the video. I had a couple issues. Um, one of the issues I had was I did that and left that blank there, and it'll give you an error. Um, one thing I did was um, put it in between here and here, and that will, that's bad. Um, what I would do. Is I would go um, copy and paste and make a copy of it before you edit it um, so you can go back to it if you do something wrong. I mean, you can just go back into Notepad and um, delete what you did, but if you don't know what you did wrong, um, just uh, shoot, why did I do that? Uh, you can just go back and fix it, and everyone's happy now. Alright, so, um, we're back here. Um, and it may do this to me, it may not. Um, 
it, virtual machine or uh, VPC 2007 will not recognize the file if you do it wrong. It's it's very peculiar. Now the one thing, I guess it's the difference between VPC 2007 and VPC 2007 SP1, but this is important. Um, the uh, type equals boolean. Um, so in I, I don't know there are some people who find that that doesn't work and it's just it they just have to do enabled false and I I don't know why that is because I've never used anything else that this and um, virtual machine or virtual box um, but it did not work unless I put this part in so if it if you get an error message first try taking this part out <laughs> and then if that doesn't work then um, try it again um, I don't know why it did so um, oh, uh, and save that um, and then run that again alright so wear out your delete key again and you want to change that, oops, I closed, and there it is. Um, change that back to, of course, mine is 9 tab 24 tab 2002. And then, if everything went right, and see, if you've already, uh, if it pops up like this, then everything's right. Um, if something's wrong in your code, that means that um, the um, if something is wrong in the code that you just made, it won't even start the virtual machine. It'll just give you an instant error message. So uh, let's try and see if it worked. Look at that. Uh, oopsie daisy. We got 9-24-2002, and it'll, it will stay like that. Um, but now, now this does not stop the progression of time, if I'm right. So, if you do have a time bombed um, operating system, you'll have to go back here every once in a while and change it back to this system time. But that will stop it from uh, going to your um, host time. So, uh, that is how you stop uh, VPC 2007 SP1 I, I can't I can't say that this will work for everything but for SP1 it will work um, so this is uh, Roland Cole technology um, if you want you be, be sure to email me if you have any questions comments or just want to talk um, Roland Cole tech at gmail.com link in the description and look at that everything started up just fine um so yeah thanks for watching hope this worked if it did not work feel free to email me i'll see what i can do um that's it thank you very much for watching have a nice day